What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Lesser Athletes. My name is Sean. And today, like always, another interesting video for you here on the channel. When will Tiffany Stratton cash in? I've been wanting to make this video for a long, long time. So the plan was for me to let me give you a little timeline. The plan was for me to release this before SummerSlam. And I was thinking about it. I started thinking about maybe a little things to do. Started making some slides, some scripts, some whatever. And then I was thinking to myself, you know how awkward it would be if I just released this video and then she cashed in at SummerSlam. So I was like, you know what? I'll give myself some time. I've given myself some time. I even have a different background, a different place to record. Um, and now I'm coming to you guys with some interesting things that I think will happen during a Tiffany Shrad and when will you, you will see it. Um, today we have a most likely, a least likely in a dark horse. We have some rules that I think will have to be in play when you're thinking of when will this happen. Um, so yeah, I feel like let's just let's just get this started so things i have to consider before choosing you know when will this happen i think there's something else that i, I didn't really mention on here uh, but let's go first the cash in will be at a ple i would be a hundred percent shocked if the ple's are not involved in a cash in i think that's the thing with triple h's reign that we've really seen that raws and smackdowns there's not really going to be title changes unless it's the tag team titles not really much else that I can really say about that. It's just they won't happen. They won't happen. Um, PLEs are the places you're going to see title changes happen. For example, cash in, it's going to happen at a PLE. Um, another thing, it will happen before WrestleMania 41. I don't think we see a way where this happens at WrestleMania 41 or after a WrestleMania 41. It's going to happen before WrestleMania 41. We just had a long, you know, reign with Damian Priest with his money in the bank. It's not going to happen like that again. If they would I'm not going to lie, it would be kind of stupid for them to not stupid, I guess, you know. They know more than me. Let's be honest here. I'm just a content creator. Um I think it just doesn't make a lot of sense to have a similar thing. It's kind of just showing the same thing over and over for WrestleMania again. Um, I don't think it'll make a lot of sense in my opinion. I think it will be before. And lastly, a thing that I didn't write on here, but it's going to be on SmackDown. There's no way it happens on Raw. Um, I've actually seen two predictions. So I'm I two predictions on when I was looking at SummerSlam predictions to think of my SummerSlam predictions, what I think will happen. Um, looking at others to say, well, did I cook or was I just horrible at my predictions? Somebody said that two people said Tiffany Strand would cash in on Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. So it's not going to happen on Raw. It's going to be a SmackDown, you know, peep, it's going to be the WWE Championship. That's just what it is. It's going to be that. Um, so now let's get into these scenarios. So we'll go from most likely in my opinion, and I have changed this literally writing this. It is going to be Royal Rumble. I think Royal Rumble is going to the, be the place. Reason why. Charlotte Flair is going to be a playmaker and going to be a catalyst into this cash in, in my opinion. Charlotte Flair is looking like it is a November return for her to come back and to really, you know, join in for, to the WWE community. Um, with that in mind, the only two places that I could see that then happening is, you know, Survivor Series or Royal Rumble. I don't think Survivor Series it happens. I think Royal Rumble is where we see a Nia Jax versus Charlotte Flair match. Let me give you a prediction. Charlotte Flair comes back and challenges Nia Jax talking about, you think you're the queen? I'm the queen. Kind of a king joke right there, Nick A30. Um... And, you know, there's some tension with Nia Jax, um, but, you know, there's some tension with, you know, Charlotte Flair as well. So I think Tiffany Strand cashes in and really makes this feud about Nia Jax saying, well, I won the championship for us. And Nia Jax just throws Tiffany Strand away. Um, Charlotte Flair, on the other hand, is pissed that this new up and comer just ruined her trying to get a title from Nia Jax. Charlotte Flair then decides, you know what? I'm going to Elimination Chamber and I am going to win this Elimination Chamber. She does. Then it's Tiffany Stratton versus Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Everything that we've. 
Oh my god, I almost just threw my phone accidentally. Everything that we wanted. We wanted a Tiffany versus Charlotte match to happen. And it's going to probably happen at WrestleMania if Tiffany Shran has this uh, championship. I expect it to happen and I expect we see it this happening, truthfully. So this is the best way for us to get that matchup. And I think this is probably the best way that we see, you know, Charlotte Flair going against Nia Jax in some form or way. And I think that's what matters the most in this scenario. Scenario two, bad blood. This is my least likely. I originally said this is my most likely because they, I think Tiffany Stratton having this championship and growing this championship matters a lot, in my opinion. But I think a Nia Jax in a Charlotte Flair match is way less likely now. Um, one, Charlotte Flair looks like she'll come back in November, which um, if you don't you know your uh, time and months, that is after um, October, which uh, Bad Blood is the beginning of October. Um, so that's not likely. Two, um, could be a way for a match, you know, build up for entering Royal Rumble. I think... That makes a lot of sense. That's the only thing that makes me really want to say bad blood is that I think they would want these championships to be given before Royal Rumble. Or, you know what I just realized too? Imagine Nia Jax in, um, Nia, no, they wouldn't open it up. I, Nia Jax and Charlotte Flair opens up the Royal Rumble, um, in Indiana Tiffany Stratton cashes in. Charlotte Flair joins in to the Royal Rumble because she gets that pissed. Charlotte Flair wins the Royal Rumble. I don't know. That's just a thought process I just said that doesn't probably make a lot of sense. Um, I just think this is less likely now. I don't, I'm don't. i now feeling like Nia Jax isn't going to get on the card. And I don't see her getting on the card unless it's against Tiffany Stratton. If it's not against Charlotte Flair, the only other person I could see is Bailey. I don't really see a Bianca Belair. Maybe, oh my God, maybe a Jade Cargill. But that could be way too early. I don't know. I just want to throw these up in the air. I generally just want to throw this up in the air because I think Bad Blood's probably a really good place to do it. It's just I don't think story-wise it's going to make a lot of sense. Up next we have, and this is my Dark Horse, Survivor Series. There's two things that could happen. Um, One, Nia... And Charlotte Flair match happens at Survivor Series. That's a really good way for it to happen. Makes a lot of sense for it to happen. Or doing it actually during the Survivor Series. So right now for the women's side of things when it comes to war games, there's not really anything you could say is going to happen. You could say it's damage control versus something else. I don't really see a women's faction right now that is heal, truthfully. It looks like it could just be a brand split, which would be kind of crazy. We see something like that. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, I could see a way where Nia Jax loses and builds into a feud between the two entering WrestleMania instead, where, you know, Charlotte Flair comes back, maybe Nia Jax comes, and that, you know, they do something where it goes WrestleMania type, where this is actually the build up to WrestleMania. I also want to say. What if, and I don't think this would happen. I truthfully don't. This is like a 10% chance, but I'm saying it because if it happens, you heard it here, folks. You heard it here. I have the script. First time ever someone cashes in during the actual War Games match. What are the odds we see this with Triple H's reign? They hinted towards it with Damian Priest with um, Seth Rollins. What are the odds we actually see it happen? Because they could make up any rules on the spot. I don't think they've ever had a cash in during war games. And I'm saying this because I looked it up to just double check because I do not remember a time that ever happened. So what are the odds we see something like that happen? And they just make something up on the spot where Nia Jax is about to get pinned or something. Tiffany Strand cashes in. Gets Nia Jax because she's so pissed off at Nia Jax. Something like that. Just saying it. Just spitballing. Just being honest. So that's my prediction. But now we're going to go where it won't happen. 
I think this will be likely built up from Royal Rumble. I feel like Royal Rumble is kind of the end of where we see this cash in attempt probably happen. Story won't start at Elimination Chamber. Maybe there's a cash in attempt at some point at Elimination Chamber, and that's actually what happens. But I don't think that makes a lot of sense in my opinion. I I know it's February to April, and they have a lot of times to build up, but we don't really see these, you know, the championships get changed during Elimination Chamber Royal Rumble. They're not going to be, for example, if the if Nia Jax would have a match against Charlotte Flair in Elimination Chamber or against somebody, Tiffany Sharon cashes in. Elimination Chamber is now going to go against somebody to now go against Tiffany Shran. There's going to have to be little things involved during that type of sense, which I don't think story-wise a lot of people would want. You would want Tiffany Shran to really mess with all these people for Elimination Chamber and say, you know what, it's not going to happen. Um, I also want to say that it's going to happen before WrestleMania due to Damian Priest, so we're not going to see anything on that type of end. So yeah, that's kind of it. That's kind of where I'm at, where I think it's Royal Rumble. I think could be bad blood, potentially the Survivor Series. That's technically, you know what? That's really kind of sucky that I'm saying this because that's really only the three PLEs entering next year before Elimination Chamber. But at the same time, that's only three places it could happen. And if I want a video, I have to say that. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.